Hi guys, Mark Crossfield here with Golf Online answering more of your questions. Peter, uh, using the hashtag AskAGG, is saying, often hear you talk about flyers out of the rough. How do you identify a flyer based on the lie? Good question, Peter. It's a tricky one. It's one of those skill stroke guessing games where experience is going to play a massive role. For me, the big things I look for, so looking at this lie, there's plenty of grass around the ball but there's still enough room for me to get the club through there, so there isn't a massive clump before which is gonna slow the club down. So I feel like I'm gonna get good club head speed on that, but because the grass is growing the way I want the ball to go, I would always fear that this one might come out a bit quick. So I would often club down for this one. Now, if I was to turn around <clears throat> and play this shot this way, so I'm now going against the way that grass is growing, I would feel that that grass, as I enter it with the club, is going to slow my club down, so I'm going to lose any speed of the ball through club head uh, speed being lost because I'm going against the grain. That's not always the case, but that's one of the things I will use. Ball sitting up on the rough as well make me feel like I'm going to get a real flyer. So they've not really bedded down, they're sat kind of on top with lots of grass around. A bit higher struck on the club. Again, maybe um, not as much grass around the, or short of the ball, if you like, so I can still get my club head speed onto it. Flyers are things that you can only try and guess. There's so much guesstimation in there that you're never going to know. It's one of those kind of fantastic skill factors of golf, which is often why people say things like, why do I hit it so well on the range and struggle on the course? It's these kind of situations that they never get a chance to practice. So getting out on the course and putting in some different lies and seeing how it comes out, always a good way. And for me, being a slightly more protective golfer, I'm always got any inclination it might fly. As a general rule, I'm clubbing down, hitting the ball quite hard and hoping it kind of runs up there. Hope that helps.